changing decimals into mixed numbers. Changing a decimal to a mixed number. Now a mixed number has a whole number part and a fraction part. The number to the left of the decimal point becomes the whole number part, which in this case is 6. So the point three nine we turn into the fraction, just like we did before. Fraction bar. The number to the right of the decimal point becomes the numerator, which in this case is 39. We find the last numeral in the decimal, which is a 9. The 9 is in the hundredth position, so we put a 100 in the denominator. So 6.39 becomes 6 and 39 one hundredths. Eleven point zero three. The number to the left of the decimal becomes the whole number part. Eleven. Draw a fraction bar. The number to the right of the decimal point becomes the numerator without any leading zeros. So it's not zero three, it's just three. The last numeral in the decimal, in this case, is a three. The 3 is in the 100th position, so we put 100 in the denominator. So 11.03 becomes 11 and 3 one hundredths. Again, the number to the left of the decimal point becomes the whole number part, 9. Draw the fraction bar. The number to the right of the decimal point becomes a numerator without any leading zeros, so 21. We find that last numeral in the decimal, which is the 1. The 1 is in the thousandth position, so we put a thousand in the denominator. So 9.021 becomes 9 to 21,000.